Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. Duct-tape. Grab the. You have. Remember the duck hunt? The gun? Grab the duck hunt gun. Put the. Put the duck hunt gun into it. And maybe grab like a coat hanger. A coat hanger. Break it. Duck hunt. Break it, right? Break it. Are you. D- put it in a ball. Are you describing the biolocator? Mohammed, you all of a sudden sound a little bit different. That's weird to me. What's happened here? What <laughs> happened to Mohammed? I can't do it quietly. Is this Mohammed? Is someone is a spy? <laughs> what happened to you, Mohammed? <laughs> like, well, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Mohammed, I'm trying tell to sound. I'm said. trying to sound American. That's better. Yes, Wallah. You're describing the biolocator. Shubek, Wallah, that's ex- this is what this man said to me. He wants the biolocator. Have... Yeah, Wallah, I do. You, Kelly, Wallah, grab, go on the back, and I want you to come on slow. Bring it to me. I will get him back. Now go. Yalla, get, get that. Okay, You're okay, wasting okay, my okay, time. Okay, get that. Okay. Yalla, go get it. Okay. Why don't you have it already? I'm going. Get going. Wallah. My friend. Come back. Man, my, my friend. What are you doing? Come back. We have your thing. We're ready. Come on. Wallah. Yalla, yalla. Do you have bio locate? Yes. Wallah. Well, you, if you have any question, I tell you we have it. Don't ever question, my friend. We have it for you. Oh, this is very See? impressive. Right, he's coming the American in. American come through. And now, uh, uh, how does it work? Walla, just one second here. Mohammed, be gentle! Stop coming! Ever. Walla, be gentle! You want me going to trip it? It's going to go on the ground! It's going to be khala! What are you doing? If you keep yelling at me, I will drop oh, this! Yeah. I will drop it, we will all die! Shubek Intel, get over here! My friend here is Shubek a logical mechanical x-ray vision number one of device huh? here you go a little d- don't worry about this it's antique <laughs> it's antique okay how does it work no wait oh no, wait. How does f- it you work? Don't, what do you mean you don't know how to work okay, okay listen how does friend. it you work you don't know well you don't know how to work everybody knows how to work uh, the mechanical fucking biological let me show you anyways you pick it up in your hand, obviously, right? You have it, and then you look, okay? And then when you look as far as you, you look as far as you can look. And once you look as far as you can look, you smell. You smell as, as, as much as the smell as you smell. Okay, wallah, you do that and... Muhammad! What? What else, uh, mechanical, uh, biological, or what else he do, huh? You must touchy feely. Well, of course, the is easy, easy number. Very important. And it's most Im- listen, most important. You touchy and you feely, and you will find Waldo. You will find the rock. You will find the pickle baby. You find whatever you want. Spratziva, spratziva. No problem. This will come listen, in very useful. Well, uh, I, I, it's good that you tell me now because I'm sorry, my friend. It's just, I don't know what, everybody this week come to me say, I want the same thing. So I'm running out. I've had to raise the price. It's going to be forty-seven ninety-five, huh? How much is it in the rubles? So how does the biolocator work again? So, <laughs> the biolocator is, is based on a set of principles, and according to a, a definition from a Soviet, <laughs> from a from a Soviet era dictionary, biolocation techniques are basically using your senses to locate things. <laughs> so, using your natural senses of sight, hearing, yeah. smell, just take a big whiff, yeah. touchy, feelings. touchy feelies. Touch. Yeah, so that when is you, biolocation. When you when you go and you're like, I lost my keys. You know, I better search for them. You're actually you. You're better, actually you biolocate them. Yeah, you're, you're biolocating, biolocating them. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. So when you're looking for something and then you find it, biolocation. So we're always so essentially we're biolocators. Yeah. We're biolocators. We're biclops. Bi- biclops. <laughs> biolocators. <laughs> biclops and biolocators. Yeah. Yes. We're pretty good at it. We find our stuff mo- most of it. Now, I'm, it, the the biolocation techniques and and uh, we're not the only devices they use, you know, because you, you got to use a couple to confirm, you know, to to, to corroborate your uh, your findings. So, uh, not only did they use that, but they also used uh, dowsing rods, apparently, uh, psychic dowsing rods. 
of some type. Psychically so, yeah. charged? Like, were they charged under a full moon or what? That's a good question. <laughs> gypsies. <laughs> they were urinated on by gypsies. But uh, listen, we, we, you know, we joke. We joke about the biolocation and stuff, but like there it, it wasn't hard to find because there was physical evidence at these sites. Like they did find stuff. So, yeah, uh, from from the reports, it is uh, there was a, like a definite circle, like an area that, that looked like an impression in, in some of these landing sites. And then they found within this circle, they found about four, two inch deep depressions in a diamond shape formation according to them it kind of lines up to that like di the diamond shape that was on the ground right like that red yeah that, that some the well so, uh, some of the things say that they shot like a diamond or triangle like beam onto the ground one of these beings at one point when it was looking around at the dirt so that could have been one of those things i mean i dan you said it before that it also could have been a square depending yeah. Could have, uh, what angle you're looking at? It. Well, it could have. It could have I heard rhombus. Yeah, cooler. I heard rhombus. Yeah, rhombus. yeah I heard rhombus. rhombus. So, but, pick pick a shape. But the, uh, but the circular <laughs> impression though is like that. It's not something that just like oh there was something here. Was like whatever sat there would have had to been several tons to like kind of put that kind of depression. Well, it's into indented, the right? Yeah, yeah, like it's like indented, indented the ground. Yeah. This... What also I was reading too. It, apparently, there was like a, like extreme levels of cesium in the area is that radioactive cesium i think that's a good question i think it, it's like it's some it it's sounds like, like a, a bio liquid metal technique. isn't it well it's like a form of liquid metal like mercury isn't it I don't know. uh I don't so know cesium I, i'm pretty sure cesium gives off a uh a, a definite radioactive, radioactive. alkali it metal radioactive yeah so um yeah oh. so there were reports that in some of these at some of these landing sites that there was a uptick, like a concerning uptick, enough to, to be like a notable uh, measure of radiation, uh, radioactive yeah, material so out there. Wait, nothing quick, to worry about here. This is a kid's soccer field. Quick, a little radioactive. Quick note about cesium: it's one of only a handful of elements that is liquid at room temperature, like metals at room temperature. There you go. Cool. So, well, we know they, aliens like mercury, right? Apparently, <laughs> yeah. red or mercury like powers Uranus. craft. Yeah. Uh, so th there was physical evidence there was impressions on the ground something made them was yeah. it the craft Perhaps. that's Cold. that's what the else? idea is that uh, at Nasty. these sites that they found that they psychically doused and biolocated that these sites were actually where the craft had landed like they had these uh, according to some of these articles they they had these sightings going back days to previous days uh before the actual the the big one that was witnessed by the the at least the two kids um and and then these other landing sites uh were able to kind of just be able to be noted and be like this is they they were in the same area uh fly like and people had witnessed some type of uh you know UAP uh, going around the city at that time. So it's like multiple people. I think at least there, there, there was like a couple sightings and like a, one of them was like a, at least I think there were two that were actually like ex like Soviet pilots. Like they had seen these things and they're like, they're not planes. Like I, I know what planes look like and those weren't planes. Uh, and so you have all of these reports coming up with this, you know, they experienced their own UFO flap. And then not they, only that, you had the report of an actual, you know, close encounter of the, you know, essentially a third kind. <laughs> and they also, they also like had a lot of the kids that were there draw pictures of what they saw. Uh, and a lot of the drawings came back strikingly similar, like of, you know, very similar. Obviously some people suck at drawing. So <laughs> they're like, eh, you know, kind of the same. Uh, based on your skill level, uh, good work there, Sergey. Um, but it, it, a lot of accounts, you know, they said it was very similar. To those beings with like this really dome-shaped head, three eyes, these symbols, the disc, this, you know, the orb with the door. Like a lot of the depictions are the same. Um, so I found that kind of fascinating too, because it's like as soon as you start getting so many um, people seeing these things, it starts to make me believe that they saw something you would i mean it's compelling nonetheless like to have that many different people at least speak up not necessarily about seeing the the triclops aliens but craft in the sky all leading up to the day it's pretty cool 
Yeah, it's it's a sighting that that I've seen. Like the Voronish, like uh, s- some people would be like, "Oh, I've never heard of this before." Uh, you know, us being in the UFO thing, I, I've heard of this one before. Like, I think I actually made this one. This one was a previous rompon. <laughs> Not that we picked it, but it was on the list. Um, that I found. Uh, but what it is? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in ten minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.